Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to share with you some of the quirks about the Ford transmission control module for the dual clutch setup. Uh, these are in the Focuses and Fiestas and other models like that. The big thing with these vehicles is to realize that the module has to be programmed. Super important you get it programmed and there are some uh, other funny things as you initialize it and set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those as we go along. Uh, you always want to make sure that you have your battery maintainer connected to the vehicle and uh, battery voltage is super important make sure that guy is on we're using ford ids we're going to go ahead and id the vehicle and then as i get into it uh, we're going to go ahead and check all the codes before we start our service super important to do that for those of you that are not familiar with ids this is uh, probably going to be a good walkthrough for you the ford uh uh, J-Box version is very similar, but we're IDing the vehicle. Once we get it ID'd here, I do want to go ahead in and check all DTCs. That's going to be under the red toolbox up here. And once we click on that, you're going to see here, we're going to click on all CMDTCs. That's continuous memory DTCs. And as you see, if we scroll down, this gives us a, a list of all the codes. And it's always good to document this. I always record this. But you see, we failed communication with our TCM down there on the bottom. No communication with the TCM. So this is not a bad TCM. This is just a brand new module. This is what happens. So as we get started here, we're going to go to Module Programming. And we're going to go to Programmable Module Installation. That's the top button here. Click on TCM and hit the check mark. Once we do this, we verify our VIN is correct. Hit OK. And it couldn't find the part number of the module, so we're going to go ahead and get it off the internet. Because we are connected to the internet, we're going to go ahead here. And once again, we got to make sure our battery's in good shape. And here we go. Install the blank module. It really is a pretty simple procedure. You follow the on-screen instructions. But one of the things I wanted to tell you about was that first screen we saw when we had the no communication. Uh, that is normal. So I did speed this up so we get through this faster here. And you can see it's programming. Follow the directions. And I didn't edit out any of the steps. I did speed up some of these steps for you guys. Sometimes people ask me to show step by step, so that's what I'm trying to do here. So it's telling us in these instructions we have to do the adaptive learning. Um, but it's still doing some programming. Hit OK. Follow the directions. And you see it's forcing us to update the powertrain control module. It didn't give us a choice. It's automatically updating the PCM to the latest calibrations as well. So I fast forward that because that really took about five minutes or so. This is a great screenshot to save for your customer because it gives a whole lot of information about uh, what we did. We got a, a record of what was going on there. So you see how the TCM failed before. I'm going to go ahead and erase the codes. And this... We'll go ahead and erase and then read all the codes again in one step. Hit the check mark. And it's doing its self test as you see. And here we go. Look at that. The TCM down on the bottom says pass. So it's communicating okay, now. So we're going to go ahead and do our 
initializations and such, if you will. Click on transmission down here. And TCM Adaptive Learning. Click on that. And this gives you all the instructions of what you got to do. You should definitely read this if you haven't done it before, but we're just going to go ahead and click on yes. And what you're going to see here is first we have to initialize the trans range sensor, then the shift drum, clutch, and then after that's all done, we'll exit. So we're going to hit the check mark. And they make us wait. It's part of the game here. Always make sure you're in park to start. And our Prindle is also showing park, as you see. All right, so we're going to go ahead and perform the adaptive learning first. And this is going to calibrate the trans range sensor. Click on yes. And then we make sure, like I said, make sure it's in park. I always just kind of jam it up there and make sure we're good. Hit the check mark. And we're gonna we're in park, so we're gonna hit learn position. And then we're gonna pop in reverse. Click on learn position. And we're gonna go to neutral. Click on learn position. Go to drive. Learn position. And go to low. Learn position. And they all turn green here. If you have a problem, you'll realize you can't get these to set. I'm going to hit the check mark. Now we're just going to make sure that each position I go to, low, drive, neutral, reverse, park, they all work. I also want to show you guys if you, as you shift slowly, you'll get this undefined. So if I just pull this back slowly, you can see it going between gears. So that part's done. I'll turn the ignition off. And we have to let it power down here. Okay, and now we gotta do the shift drum learning. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight this. Shift drum. Click on a check mark. And we're gonna click on yes. And we're going to follow the instructions, ignition on, with the check mark. <clears throat> okay, so we got to make sure that we are in park, press and hold the brake, making sure I'm in park. Check. Function complete. So here the transmission is doing all of its learning, if you will. The module is commanding these different things and it's doing each test. So we're going to go ahead and watch this. Sometimes I've had problems where it'll fail right in here due to internal issues. And we'll see what happens. Come on, don't give me no problems. All right. You guys may be able to hear the clickety-clack of the uh, gear commands and the uh, clutches, the motors banging. In my experience, it's very normal for these things to fail once and then pass the next time. If you do it over and over again and it still fails, generally speaking, there's an internal fault in the transmission. But as you see here, we're stuck. This is not getting past this point and it will air out due to time. 
And I was surprised it didn't actually give me an error. And at this point, I figured we better go try it again. Go right back to the clutch. Check this out. This time it passes. As you see, this time was better. I like that. This is the final stage of this test. Uh, you gotta hold, hold it wide open throttle, and the engine will uh, change speed a little bit as you're doing this. You're holding wide open throttle, and it will, you can almost feel it drag a little bit, and that's normal. And then you have to make sure you have your air conditioning off at this next step at idle. If you do not turn off the air conditioning or if the idle's out of whack or there's other issues, it will not pass this test. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And we want our engine operating temperature. And we're not quite there yet, sir. All right, so we got that up to temp. Go ahead and hit the button here. And you may hurt hear this thing clunk. A lot of background noise here, so maybe not. Sometimes you'll see the RPM change too. This is awesome. Always like to have that. And after all that, we are brought back here. So we have to go ahead and choose to exit and click on a tick and test drive it. And one of the things I want to show you here is we're reading all the codes again. And check this out our TCM is back online and it does say pass. Now we gotta go ahead and uh, we're gonna clear all of our DTCs. Even though it says there are no DTCs, I always highly recommend uh, clear them. We could also recheck them. There may be something popped during the programming or the initialization. But if we clear them all out, make sure we don't have anything set. One of the things with IDS that I want to show you here is if we go to the car icon and then the little scroll icon, there is a whole list, a complete history of everything we did to this vehicle. So you can see all of our TCM adaptive learning and all the passes um, for each test. And then also see it says uh, test timeout incomplete up here a little bit. But what we're going after is I want to share with you, if you guys have IDS, you have a great opportunity to capture all your data and attach it to your work order. If you just highlight this and scroll up, unfortunately control A generally doesn't work most times to select all. You can select this, you can uh, control C, copy it, and then you can open up yourself a uh, notepad and control V and control S. 
that'll save it. Now you got all this information you guys can attach to your work order for your customer. A great uh, way of keeping track of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a lot of work to put these together. If you want more like this on programming J2534 stuff, do let me know. Uh, be in touch. Be safe, everybody. Take care.